So today is February 1st. It is 48 degrees, which is pretty odd for Northern Virginia, although it seems like seasons are all made up and the weather doesn't matter here anymore. Anyway, I'm here at a pick your part junkyard in Lorton, Virginia, and I am not doing anything with the Mercedes right back here. I am doing something with another car in this yard. I am here to pick up a whole bunch of front end pieces for something that is currently not mine, but will be mine in a couple days. I picked it up from a coworker who got into a small fender bender and insurance deemed the car totaled. Uh, I asked her what the buyout price would be and it was pretty reasonable. So out of the blue, I now have a new project and given my parking situation, I need to get it sorted as quickly as possible. So I'm here at the junkyard with one of my friends grabbing a bunch of parts before I even take delivery of the car. I'm going off of the pictures that she forwarded from the insurance claim and I'm sure I'll find more things that it needs as I tear into it. But we will be doing a little mini series on what it takes to get this slightly totaled vehicle brought back to life and on the streets again. This is our donor car that all these front end parts came from. This is a 2005 Infiniti G35 Coupe. Uh, it looks like it has about 205,000 miles on it. We can't really find any signs of obvious damage, so it could be that the motor locked up or maybe uh, something else mechanical went wrong, transmission, who knows what. It's in pretty good shape. Someone else had already taken the fender and headlight off of this corner but thankfully we still had the hood, the bumper, the grill, the core support, and the driver's side headlight and fender all here for the taking. So we're gonna check out and see what else we need. I do believe on the car that I purchased, some pieces of this whole assembly here are bent or broken. Uh, if you look at the insurance photos, the wheel is pushed back a little bit in the wheel well. Uh, the good news is this is called a knee in Nissan Infinity speak and you can buy a whole new assembly for pretty inexpensive. So I think I'm just gonna pick up the whole assembly versus trying to take parts off of a junkyard car with a strut that's pretty obviously leaking. And moving around to the rest of the car, we can see it's really not in that bad of shape. If you open the door, people have taken some parts out of the interior, but it's in pretty all right shape overall. Someone moved the wheels inside for whatever reason. Junkyards are always kind of a mystery in that regard, but the leather's in pretty okay shape. Everything's pretty tidy for for 200 plus thousand miles. The car that I'm purchasing only has 133,000 miles, so that's even better. And then moving around to the back of the vehicle, we're not taking anything out of here, but clearly it was not in any sort of collision. So feeling pretty good about the parts that we're picking up and hopefully this will be most of what we need to get this thing back up and running. Mm -hmm. 